Hey guys, I'm back. I know, it's literally been like a month or more. I don't know, I lost track. I stopped looking because every time I would look at like, last posted a video X amount of days ago, I would just like start crying. Um, but I'm back from outer space. I know the rest, but I would just literally keep going. So anyway, um, but yeah, let me just fill you in a little bit before we get into our video. I like, I see my tripod shadow and I see my hand and it's distracting, but whatever. Um, I also have to really get back in the, the flow of doing a video. So, I got my wisdom teeth out. That was very exciting. Um, even though it hurt like a fucking bitch. It didn't hurt like getting them out. I was, I was passed out. Oh my god, I have to tell you about that though. So... I am like all over the place, but so I got my wisdom teeth out and the doctor or the dentist or whatever, when I went for my consultation was like, oh, um, you know, you'll be conscious, but you won't really be with us and there will be an IV and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, oh, cool. I'll be like high shit on morphine or something. And it's going to be awesome. And, and that's not what happened. Um, so I get there the day of. And I'm laying back in the chair and I'm sitting and even though I like this song, I don't know if it's the best song to play. Uh, they put on, putting on the Ritz, you know, like, oh, fuck, you know, uh, dressed up like a million dollar trooper, trooper, trying hard to look like Gary Cooper, super duper, you know, that one. Um, and it's, it's like a trippy song, like it's, it's good, I like it, but when I'm in and out of consciousness, um, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Cause it's, it's literally like been stuck in my, I can't ex describe it. Like it was just weird. Um, but anyway, so the last thing I remember literally is putting on the Ritz and then like the dental assistant shaking me or whatever and being like, Amanda, you can wake up now. It's all finished. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. And I've never been put under and they put me under and they didn't tell me they were going to put me under. They told me that I would be awake and I wasn't at all. And then I, like, when I woke up, I was so fucking nauseous, like, and the, the, the oral surgeon that I was at was like an hour away from home. So literally the whole way home, I was just like, oh, I'm ready to die. Like it was, I was, but they're out now. And that's really exciting because those were fucking hurting, like. They were like cutting into my cheeks, so it's very big news for me. Um, on to other things. So I still don't have a car. Um, that's slowly draining my sanity every day. I shouldn't put that in the universe, but I do want people to know where I'm at, where it's like it's not an enjoyable place at all. Like when I get a car, it's gonna be happy days are here again. But whatever, patience, and I don't want to make the same mistakes and whatever. So. Patience. That's all I have to have. Patience is a virtue. Um, what else? I feel like I've been gone so long, but really most of it I was just sick or I couldn't talk because of my mouth. Um, and like I've been in this depression, funk, whatever. I mean, obviously like the seasons are changing, but beyond that, you know, the car thing really does take its toll on me. Like, I know it might seem stupid, but I'm very independent. I really like to just do things myself. I don't want to depend on anyone else. Um, especially, like, driving. Oh, fuck you. Whatever that is. Um, it, it, so it's just like, it, uh, see, I get like this. Um, you know, it's, it's just like a, a thing, and then I get at work, go to work, and that's fine. Work is fine. And then I have to have another ride home, and then it's like I have to pre-plan, oh, who's going to take me to work the next day? It, you know, so it's just like draining. It's, it's fucking draining. That's really what it is. And it's, I don't like asking people, like, I don't like to be annoying. I mean, I, I'm really good at it, but, you know, that doesn't mean I want to be it. So I hate being like, hey, can you give me a ride? Meh, whatever. So that's enough about me and my car, whatever. So let's get to what we're here for. Some beauty tips. Um, oh my god, there's so many notifications happening on my phone today. Um, so, I'm going to give you one that I've been using every day since I, like, 
saw it on somebody else's video and then I'm gonna give you like a little fountain of youth but like I don't know it's a theory that I have I have a theory for you guys so the actual beauty tip is about eyelashes and a shocking turn of events what did you think I'd come back and not talk about my eyelashes please um so I've been hitting my eyelashes with my blow dryer while applying my mascara and I don't know why I didn't think of this before like it's so simple once it's been put into my my universe but you know I knew about blow drying before like when you got out of the shower and they were wet like this is a game changer so you put on your first coat of mascara however you want to do it and you know me I'm like and then I go in vertical and you do that and then you just put it on cool put it on cool please remember that that is very important and just kind of like set it here on your cheek and let it blow up <whistles> blow up and it, it does this like soft curling effect which is awesome and you don't need eyelash curler and I love it and I've been doing it every day and it is awesome and I filmed myself doing it today so I can show you guys um but it's just like it's this little thing and it really makes like a difference especially i don't like to wear false eyelashes anymore like i feel like they they killed my eye whatever's and i pull them out and like it's just awful like i really don't like to wear falsies if i don't have to so i'm all about trying to like make the natural go as far as it can now on to my theory and my theory i call it the fountain of youth youth theory um so my boyfriend, Joseph, he is like this anomaly where he is 38 and he like has no wrinkles. It's amazing. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Um, and we talked about it and it's true. He literally like never leaves the house. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, he's an actual vampire. He works from home and whatever and does all this stuff. And like, he like just doesn't leave the house. So the sun never touches his skin i mean i knew that like tanning beds were bad but i like you know you just walk outside to go to work or go to your car or whatever or go shopping and and the sun's getting you um you know like he'll go shopping sometimes but i mean like he he doesn't leave the house as much as the average person so it's like i don't know it's if you saw his skin or like whatever it, it's amazing the other thing is and I can never do this because I wear makeup he doesn't wash his face unless he is in the shower that is the only time he will like use soap on his face um he might use water but like not even really that and it's amazing I, you know I really think I think this is more of it than the sun thing I think the sun thing is like a long-term whatever game but just letting his natural like oils or like body whatever's do their thing um is really working out for him and I tested it myself because when I was sick with my wisdom teeth out like I was not gonna leave the house I was not gonna put makeup on I was gonna lay in my bed and you know be in pain so I was like all right and I had already had this theory so I was like all right well, I'm gonna like test it I'm just gonna not wash my face I mean unless I shower and you know unless you know if you get dirt on your face wash it but I just mean like you know people have their natural oils and you know they wipe them away or wash them off don't leave them try it try it out when I tell you that my skin cleared up like like I really literally have no pimples at all at all it's amazing I I don't know and even though it's been like a not a week but you know I've been to work a few times so obviously I've put makeup on I have makeup on today even just like re I'll call it resetting my skin just helped it like it still feels amazing also since doing that I don't really use soap all that much I got I'm looking for them they're over there um I got these Burt's Bees like facial wipes with white tea extract and even though technically those are like soapy they are a lot less than like what I'm was fucking doing even though I was using natural soap I was using frankincense and myrrh from the, the health food store and uh, lemons and whatever and th those are still good but like 
I don't know, this theory, I swear to God, I have no pimples. It was amazing. It is amazing. I don't know. I'm just in shock. So, I feel a cough coming on. I'm going to try and hold it back. Um, I can't. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that was another thing. I was also, like, sick sick on top of my wisdom teeth being out. I still have, like, I'm still sick, but it's fun. I'm feeling a thousand percent better, and I'm just happy to, like, actually be filming a video. Even if I'm just rambling on in front of my phone camera, that's totally okay, and I totally love it. I'm totally happy because it, it really was, like, upsetting me. Like, I was just, I stopped looking at my YouTube thing, so I was like, everyone's gonna hate me, blah, blah, blah. so whatever. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, I haven't really done a traditional beauty thing since Halloween because Halloween was all about the makeup and that was really exciting. Um, and then December is Christmas and then we have New Year's and I still want to do crime stuff. I literally, guys, it's been so long since I made a video that Charles Manson died. Can you fucking believe that? I waited so long that Manson himself died. Ugh. But anyway, so... Um, that's something else. Like, ever since Charles Manson died, everyone's, like, jumped on the Manson ban bandwagon. Not that they're like, I love Charles Manson, but they're all trying to fucking know shit. And I'm like, okay, calm down. Like, calm down. Same thing with, uh, Tommy Wiseau with the Disaster Artist movie and James Franco and all that. Uh, I've had a picture of Tommy Wiseau next to my bed for longer than I can remember. So, I just want you to know... Who the real MVP of this world is. It is me. I am too good for you all. Hashtag blessed. Um, yeah, so I don't know. You know, we're, I'm about to hit the 12 minute mark. So I'm going to stop rambling. But as you can see, I'm just very excited to like be back and say something and talk to you guys and have any sort of interaction. So I hope you try my eyelash thing. I hope it helps. And I will see you. I'm not even going to pretend to know. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.